Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the what is it anyway? 31st? 31st? Yeah, around 31st. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 31st? Offer of love. I think we have an offer of love. Something something romantic, love. Uh, somebody's looking for a relationship. What I saw was the Knight of Cups. Like, like flirting. Um, something like that. Maybe an invite or an offer is coming. I'm not sure. Um, Knight of Cups is romance. Romancing somebody. Something like that. Um, wanting romance. Relationship growth, perhaps, with the Knight of Cups. Two of coins reversed. Two of coins. We're going to try to get this. Uh, you can see it, but I don't think you're going to be able to because I don't got my camera back far enough. So I might as well come back up and we'll work on that in a minute. <laughs> All right. Two of pentacles reversed. Knight of, so Knight of wands reversed. I mean, we'll try. Um, I'm going to have to. I need to have it up higher. You know, up there. Maybe I can hire somebody to do that for me. Knight of Wands reversed. Uh, nine of Wands. So we have the Two of Coins reversed, the Knight of Wands reversed, and the Nine of Wands. So this is a need to reprioritize. Slow down a little bit. We have somebody here that is facing some challenges. Overwhelmed. Growing weary. Things are not moving very fast. Uh, there's some sort of delay. Two of coins reversed is overwhelmed, not handling priorities very well, trying to do too much. We have somebody here that is overextending themselves. They things may be a little bit out of control. This could be there could be some reckless behavior here with the two of wands reversed and the knight of wands reversed. That's like recklessness. Okay. We can get those together. It is because the tool, that's like things, chaos. The tool, that is definitely chaos. There's some sort of chaos here, chaotic, trying to do too much, overwhelmed. The Knight of Wands reverse could be, uh, could be moving too fast. There could be a fall here. Somebody could be falling because they're moving too fast. There's a need to slow down. Um, impulsive, extremely impulsive energy. Uh, there could be some competition here, uh, trying to do too much. Somebody is struggling too much. They're, they're moving too fast. They're going to be facing some challenges with the Nine of Wands. That's challenge wounds. They could get wounded. Somebody could get hurt. Somebody could get hurt because they're moving too fast and they need to slow down in whatever it is that they're doing. Nine of Wands is... Well, we have a wounded warrior here who, he has the Ace of Wands in his hands. It feels like he's reached a breaking point. Somebody has reached a breaking point and they may be begging for another chance. Somebody may be begging for another chance. They may want another chance. They could be, maybe there was a delay. They had too much on their plate. Could go either way. Somebody's been trying to do too much. They need to reprioritize. It feels like there's some sort of peace offering here, which is crazy because of this card right here. It's like this is somebody who has reached, you know, their breaking point and they just want another opportunity, one more chance, perhaps. There is one more chance. There's still one more chance by the looks of things. Um, Nine of Wands. You got somebody here that has let fear hold them back in responsibilities they couldn't choose. They were having a hard time making a choice. Maybe they've made a choice now um, with the Two of Pentacles reversed. That was going back and forth. Now maybe they've made some sort of choice. They could be moving extremely fast or they need to slow down or something with that Knight of What is this Knight of Wands reversed? What is this Knight of Wands reversed? 
The fool, foolish behavior. We got a fool here, somebody that has let fear. There's a need to take a risk, to step forward into unknown territory, start fresh, starting from scratch. This is about replacing fear with faith and stepping over the edge, leaving something behind, uh, starting from scratch. So I do think that we have somebody here that is about to uh, do something. They're about to do something that they did let fear get in the way, but I feel like now they're ready. They've reached a breaking point. They're ready. They're ready for a new beginning. There is a new beginning here with that fool card. That's the beginning of a new journey. Um leaving something behind, starting from scratch, very suddenly, extremely sudden. This is actually exciting with the fool. This is a free spirit, somebody that is, is maybe they've become free. Maybe they've broken themselves free from something. Nine of wands is expecting trouble, you know, wanting another chance. This person has fought. They've fought a lot of battles in the past. They're about to give up. Somebody is about to give up. Or they're, they've reached a breaking point. They're about to give up. They've... Hmm. Feels like we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready for a new life. They are. Three of Wands reversed next to that Nine of Wands. That is... Lack of foresight, unprepared, missing a boat, missing the ship, watching it sail away, letting it go. Somebody is has is missing an opportunity. They have, they're about to. The ship is sailing. We've talked about this. Unprepared. I wonder if there's a sudden departure here. Somebody could be sudden. When we talk about this a lot, I mean, that Knight of Wands could be a sudden departure. The Fool is, is somebody that just takes a leap, just just does something, you know, does something with, with impulsive, there is impulsive energy, Doing does something impulsively, reached a breaking point, um, fought, a ver fought a lot of battles, fought, this person has fought a lot of battles in their life, they have a lot, have a lot of life experience, but it's time for some closure, because nines are closure, this three of wands is unprepared for unprepared for something. Lack of foresight. Uh, stuck. Somebody has been stuck. They've been stuck in a situation. Watching, watching. You know, not focusing on the future. Focusing on, you know, too much. They've had too much on their plate. They've, they're overwhelmed. We definitely have somebody here that is overwhelmed. They got too many things going on and they've been missing an opportunity. Somebody's been missing an opportunity and the opportunity is sailing away by the looks of things. Uh, huh. The moon. Unclear and difficult path ahead. There's hidden forces here. There's some sort of illusion. There's secrets. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. There's secrets here. There's some sort of secrets. There's illusion. There's fantasy. All is not as it seems. We have somebody that uh, has done something foolish, reckless. There is definitely recklessness here, reckless behavior, foolish behavior. They overcommitted themselves to something that wasn't realistic, okay? And now they're in a period of darkness. And they've reached a breaking point where they're watching something slip away because of their own illusion, because of their own darkness, because of... You know, they're, they're afraid. There's fear here. There is fear here. There's fear of the unknown. We have somebody here that needs to stand up. They have an exciting opportunity in their hands with that Ace of Wands. In the Fool card, they have an opportunity to... 
escape. They have an opportunity to, the boat is still there, okay? The boat is still in sight. It's still there. You, you, there's an opportunity to get on that boat if you are willing to replace your fear with faith and take a risk. So anyway, I do believe that we, we have somebody that is uh, struggling with a change. They've been going back and forth with what they want to do. Um, they've reached the point where they know that they, and their intuition is telling them that they either have to get on board or watch it leave. The moon is secrets, lies, all is not as it seems. There's something going on below the surface. This person knows that there's something going on below the surface. There's some something hidden here. We also, I feel like we have somebody here that is unprepared for a departure. They're unprepared for a departure. I think we have an individual that is going to take a risk. Nine of coins in the future. So the nine of pentacles is independence. Somebody could be becoming independent. They could be going their own way. Um, and the nine of coins is a person that is self-sufficient, enjoying life, uh, has a lot to offer. This is the empress in the minor arcana. This is, uh, this is somebody that is very nurturing, very hardworking, capable of success. Could be Somebody could be starting their own business or they may be becoming independent, uh, deciding to do it on their own. You know, I'm going to do this on my own I'm gonna, and, I, and they will be successful because this is an abundant person that has worked very, very hard to obtain success. And that's what's slipping away, okay, because of that's right next to the three of wands reversed. We have a we have an independent, successful entrepreneur or business owner or capable individual who uh, is slipping away. This person is slipping away. Because this this is this is this is somebody that knows their value. This is about self value and self worth. This person isn't is leaving. She's on the outskirts. Okay, she's headed out. So we have somebody here. She or he. This person is is very capable of doing it by themselves. I'd rather do it by myself and be successful than to be held back by. Uh, loss because that two of pentacles reversed is loss it is it's like it's financial loss this is this is really really too much somebody foolishly impulsive impulsively got themselves involved with an individual that was probably uh, a liar I mean, what more can I say? It is what it is, right? I'm not going to pretend because that's an illusion. The moon is ruled by the shadow. Okay, what you see is not what you get. The moon card is represented by Pisces and Cancer because Cancer is ruled by the moon. So the, all, what you see is not what you get. We have somebody here that is presenting themselves to, if you look at a shadow i mean what you see is not what you I can make a duck on the wall it's actually my hand it's not really a duck so you need to somebody needs to look deeper they need to look deeper they need to look and i think that's what's happening we have somebody here that is le looking deeper at a partnership the first card out is a two Twos are partnerships, okay? So and it's reverse. So we have a partnership that is not stable. It's all over the place. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of juggling. There's a lot of going back and forth. And it's time for a change. And I feel like the, the, somebody has overcommitted to themselves to the situation. And now they've reached a point, a breaking point, where there's just there's just something hidden, and they know it. They know it. They know it. Um, and they're unprepared. 
They're unprepared. There's a lack of foresight. They didn't see it. With the moon card right next to the three of wands reversed, there's definitely something that it has been missed. But we have somebody here that is about to, I feel like they're, they're well, that nine of wands is, just going for it one i'm gonna i'm gonna do some somebody's gonna do something they have they have they're gonna do something they're gonna do something um they've reached a point where you know they've just about it feels like they've just about given up they're ready to give up They've been holding on to something that is extremely challenging. It's a bunch of lies, and when you hang on to something that is built on lies, well, that's going to cause challenges. So anyhow, unprepared, lack of foresight, not focusing on the future, staying put, being held down, overwhelmed, financial problems, needing to... Go in another direction with that fool card. Starting over from scratch. Doing something crazy. I feel like this is something crazy. That leads to abundance. Okay. Because the last card out is the nine of coins. Which is abundance. That is independent abundance. Success. Capability. Living a good life with no pressure. Doing whatever you want. It's freedom. I do see freedom here with the fool. I do see freedom. Breaking free. Freedom from uh, some sort of deceptive situation that was based on illusion. So, I think we, I think we have somebody that is about to. Uh, oh, it's very sudden. It's extremely sudden, and we have closure. There's closure here. We have a couple of nines. Closure. Oh, and look at that, another nine on the bottom, the hermit, going within, reevaluating, going their own way, seeing the, own, seeing, seeing the light, a time of introspection, becoming wiser, wisening up, a Jesus consciousness. We have a wise individual here, it looks like a wise man that is thinking about uh, themselves re-identifying themselves thinking about their future i think that i think that we have an, a very wise individual here that is reflecting on their life they're going within to reevaluate there's definitely a right re reevaluation going on and realization realizing the truth about a situation There's definitely a liar here. Somebody, there is with, with that moon card. I'm sorry, but there is. All is not as it seems. What you see is not what you get. This, per, this situation may look good on the outside, but when you dig deeper, it's not. It's dark. So totally unprepared somebody could also be coming back you know they're going back to something they may be going back to something and apologizing this is enlightenment becoming enlightened seeing the light a light bulb moment reflecting we definitely have somebody here that has been wounded, has been hurt, has reached a point, a break, a breakdown. It feels like breakdown. This is like a breakdown of some sort. Independence is in the future. Or there's an independent person here that is walking away or they're choosing to walk away. Six of coins reverse. Not somebody is not getting what they deserve. This is an injustice. There's a lack of reciprocation. This is uh, 
not receiving somebody is not getting what they deserve they're not they're not getting the balance they're not getting the reciprocation they're not getting there's no equality there's no give and take it's it's one-sided somebody is in a one-sided situation where they're not getting what they deserve and it could be money somebody may this may be have to do with money as we have money here so there could be some money problems here we may have somebody here that spends a lot of money the other one's trying to make money the other one's spending money just as fast as it's made you know that's problem that is definitely a problem anyhow and we have abundance over here independent abundance it's you know but I feel like uh, there's an abuse of generosity here we have an individual that has abused somebody's generosity they may have drained the bank account this could also be job loss losing a job of some sort becoming unemployed which leads to independently employed. Somebody could be becoming independently employed. Whatever this is, I feel like I feel like we have somebody here that has has had their generosity abused in some way, and it's cost them quite a bit of money. It's cost them quite a bit of money. There's no love in these cards. None. No love at all. Ah, Ten of Swords, this is very painful. This is a betrayal. It is the end. It's over. This is a death of a situation. It is. It is. Okay? That is the death of a situation. Um, this is extremely painful, overwhelmed. We have somebody here that just can't take it anymore. This is some sort of breakdown, which may cause a sudden departure. Somebody doing something... Uh, Risky, you know, I got, I, this is stepping into unknown ter territory, uncharted territory, quite uh, suddenly, very, 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 very suddenly. Um, can't do this anymore. And maybe that's happening because, you know, there's something that is sailing away that they're missing. You know, they, they got to get on the boat right now. They got to they gotta do it right now before it's gone. Nine of Pentacles is independent success. Enjoying the finer things in life. An increase in money. An increase of abundance. After, you know, we ha after somebody finds their mental strength with that Nine of Wands to stand up and get on board with their self-worth you know what I mean I feel like we have somebody get on board with themselves you know take care of themselves don't let themselves be beat down by whoever it is that's beating them down with their illusions and lies and secrets and whatever the hell it is anyhow I believe that you know it's uh and there's a need to uh end the suffering in some way. We have somebody here that is having a very, very hard time sleeping at night. This is like they're in some sort of freaking nightmare. And they're struggling with making a choice. And I feel like the decision is about to be made because they're reaching a breaking point with somebody that is holding them back from success. Anyhow, I do believe we have an ending here with that Ten of Swords. This is the end of, of a painful situation. It is the death of a situation. It is too much. I can't do this anymore. Uh, so, yeah. I would say that you are unprepared for a departure. Somebody is unprepared for a departure. We have an individual that is doing something that... They were afraid to do in the past, but now they're stepping into um, uncharted territory, and that is what I got. So.